this one you could call a lower third or a paper lower third effect type of thing. Somebody asked me if I, this was something that was included in the paperful effects. And that is why I'm making this tutorial to show you how to make these. And you can do this without having the paperful effects because this paper texture or animation that I'm using is the demo one as well. So you don't need to have the paperful effects to do this. So let me show you right away real quick. So let's not waste more time. First of all, we're going to have this solid color here as our background. And this is what it looks like, basically. The next thing is we're going to go to titles and find the text plus option right here. Why? Because we can add fusion effects to the text plus text. All right, here we're going to write whatever you want to write. Then we're going to change the font to any font that you like. I like Montserrat a lot. I use that pretty much everywhere in on everything I do. OK, now the next thing we need to do is go to shading and we're going to activate the second layer and then click enable. Here we can go to the square in the appearance to make these text fill, change the level to line or text, either or works. And then here, if you want to make these longer or, or taller, you can adjust those values if you want. Now, for the color, you can choose whatever color you want. Now, let me go ahead and add that paper effect first. So first of all, this is one cool thing that you can do with the paper edge effect. We're going to add the paper edge effect to these. And here on the paper edge effect, you can always modify the contrast and stuff like that so that it looks a little bit more like realistic, right? And you have a ton of settings here that you can change and play around with. Here, we're going to set the offset of the shadow to 0.5 and then get this softness to zero so we don't have that shadow. Now I'm going to add these paper fold clash effect. And that will bring the paper fold effect onto it. Now, for some reason, it's taking a little bit to render right now. Maybe my hard drives are a little bit full. Then we're going to go to the text layout again, or not layout later. And here we can increase the size of the text so that it fills our screen completely like that. And we can also go to layout and change the position a little bit. Now, back to effects, we want to have our paper edge to be the same color as the, the shading that we used. If you want to leave it red, you can just go and click here, pick screen color, and then just have to select somewhere that's red like that i want this to be a little bit closer to the original paper that we used but you can also leave these white or gray um, like that and then you just have to go to the paper full effects and actually i didn't change the shading right there i have to go to the shadings right here and also make these basically what you want to do is change the shading and the paper edge or paper yeah it's called paper edge effect to have the same colors like that these are not exactly the same yet so we're gonna go back to the effects paper edge click border color pick screen color and then you're just gonna get closer until something matches now is this gonna be perfect probably not but you can get it to as close as perfect as you can then we're gonna go to the media view option on the paper edge paper edge effect and select that. Now we have that effect there. I'm still not completely happy with the way that this looks right here in the shading. So I'm going to go back and try to match these like that. That works great. Do you see how this looks almost like it's all part of the same one right now? Okay. And now you have the text there and you can always change the text um, right here, whatever it's written on it and also change the color right here. That's a cool part of this. Now, last little touch so that looks a little bit cooler is we're gonna go to the media tracker get rid of the previous tracking data now press go track backwards and then track forward like that now when you press play we'll have that text animation of the text reveal with a something that you can actually modify and adjust a little bit more now if you adjust the zoom right here it will go until the edge of the paper effect which is the actual texture so you can only go as big as that basically now the important thing is that the paper edge is on top of these if you bring these down then it will look a little bit weird so make sure you keep that on top and there you have it that's a cool text or call out call out not call out but lower third text that you can use and have that paper animation on it now after that what you can do is if you already plan to reuse these, either pre-render these with an alpha background 
and then use that or go to the overall position on the paper full collage effect and now you can position these whatever you want these to be right here for example and then it will show up right there with on your video now if you're interested i do have a current promo going on that if you purchase the hand-drawn elements which is not officially launched yet but if you purchase that which is nine bucks or well ten bucks then you get 20 percent 20 bucks or 50 percent of the paper full effect so if that's something that interests you check out that bundle that you can get on the swabby website now another cool text animation effect that i've been wanting to share with you all is this one so let me sh show you that if you want to know how i did this it's not that complicated it just requires you to move a few polygons around and i'm not talking about mask polygons because i didn't use the mask i used an svg file to create these but more on that on the next video so make sure to come back and watch that video next if you want to learn how to create these cool text line animation that is it for this video see you in the next one